My name is Sawyer, and I was born in Atlanta, Georgia on May 4, 1990 to Karen and Jim Hartman. I was kind of a quirky baby. I was always dressing up in weird costumes like cowboys or Power Rangers or Batman and putting on puppet shows. I guess I've always loved entertaining people. When I was three months old, my grandma came up from Florida to visit for two weeks. I was her only grandchild, and I guess I was pretty cute because she never left. I never knew she'd become one of the most influential people in my life. One day when I was two years old, I was at a park playing in a sandbox when I saw this kid who was playing with my sand. His name was Matt Onifrey, and we quickly became friends. He's still my best friend to this day. We don't talk a lot, but every time we see each other, it's like we've never been separated. Matt, if you're watching this, I love you, Matt. When I was still young, my parents built a beach house in St. George Island. Me and Matt went there every summer for months, and anyone in the family or even any friends could come stay with us. We'd have like 30 people sleeping on the floor at any time. Those summers are still the best memories of my life. When I was three, I had a lot of animals, like five dogs, six cats, 18 raccoons, and eight exotic birds. But one day, one of the birds got out of the cage, and it swooped down and tried to take my eye out while I was playing on the couch. I have a scar next to my eye, and I'm still really sketchy around flying birds. When I was seven, my parents got divorced. This was a really hard time for me because my dad's a pilot, and I didn't really get to see him a lot anyway. And this just meant I got to see him even less. But a few months after the divorce, my parents decided they could still be friends, and my dad was always coming on vacations with us. I think this is why I try to remain friends with all my ex-girlfriends. When I was eight, my mom started dating a chef, and he taught me how to cook. Every week I got to make something that I wanted. Yeah, we had to eat things like pizza covered in jelly beans, but they always told me it was really good and encouraged me to keep learning. But he ended up not being a really great guy, and they soon broke up and it was just me and my mom again. When I was nine, my mom took me on vacation to Yellowstone National Forest and gave me my first camera. I spent four hours hunting down this moose, crawling through bushes trying to get the perfect shot of it. I think that's when I might have fallen in love with photography. I just didn't know it yet. When I was 14, my mom's job moved us to Florida to this island called Vero Beach. It was really hard to make friends, and it was a really small island, and the kids were not very nice to me. I was really unhappy and became depressed, and I spent most of my time contemplating life by myself on the beach. One night we got a phone call that my grandma had had a brain aneurysm, and they didn't know if she'd make it through the night. It was the scariest night of my life because I had never come that close to losing someone that close to me. But she made it, and after she recovered, she moved down to Florida to live with us again. I think it was all a blessing in disguise because I really loved having her around. When I was 16, my mom finally let me change schools, and I started going to a charter school that focused on the arts. I started acting in plays and quickly found out it was what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. Plus, all the other kids in the school were really nice and loved art too, so I was finally able to make some good friends. During this time, me and my buddy Ronnie and a few friends went to live in Spain for a few months with random Spanish families to go to school. I learned a lot about different cultures and it really opened up my eyes to the beauty of the world. Plus, I got a tattoo. When I was 19, I finally decided to pursue my dreams of becoming a professional actor. So I dropped out of college and moved to Hollywood. I had only been in college six weeks. It was really scary because I didn't know anyone in LA and I hadn't even been to California before. I ended up getting really lonely and really depressed. And it was probably the darkest place I've ever been in my whole life. That's when I got Mr. Hitch, my miniature Pomeranian. And for six months, he was literally my only friend. I would have full conversations with him all day. And I still have full conversations with him daily. People think I'm completely insane. Then one day I got a message on Facebook from this girl. She was really pretty. Her name was Blair. She ended up being really nice too. And four months later we started dating. She had the weirdest job ever though. She made YouTube videos. And a few months later she forced me to start my own channel. I never imagined that Blair would change my life forever. But she did. We dated for a year and a half, and although me and Blair's relationship didn't last, my newfound love for making YouTube videos did, and I met some amazing friends like Luke and Joey, and my poorly produced comedy sketches slowly started to turn into actual little films, and these things I'd call through my eyes videos, and I found that my one true love in life was photography. Thanks, Mom. My Through My Eyes videos allowed me to get to travel and see some beautiful places, one of which being England, where I met these two guys named Sam Pepper and Louis Cole. And within 10 minutes of meeting them, I asked them if they wanted to come live with me in Los Angeles. And obviously they must be as crazy as I am because they instantly said yes, and two months later they moved in. Then one day this kid named Seer came over to hang out for the afternoon, and like my grandma never left. They're my family now, and it's really cool to know that we'll be friends for the rest of our lives. 
I have no idea how I've gotten to where I am in my life, and I have no idea where it's going, but I love every single second I get to live it. So much has changed since moving to LA, including myself. My dreams now only consist of trying to show people the beauty in the smallest things in life, and hopefully change the world in my own small way. I'm really excited about the future. A little nervous, but really excited. I'd never be here if it wasn't for all the amazing people who enjoy my videos and share them with their friends. Don't think I'll ever forget everything you've done for me. You've honestly changed my life. I am now tagging Seer to film a Draw My Life video next. Thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed it, feel free to click the like button. And if you're not familiar with my films, feel free to check them out on my channel. Maybe you'll like them. Love you guys. Bye.